Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Whiteboard for iPad and the new updates and how to get signed in properly for both you and your students. Now, moving on to the iPad, when you open up Whiteboard, you might get this message that's saying we couldn't sign you in. That is what I am here to help you and show you how to fix. To do this, we are going to have to download an app from Mosul called Microsoft Authenticator. After you have located the app, be sure to install it, and then I will show you the next steps on how to get signed in. Once it's finished installing, go ahead and open up the Authenticator app. Open the app and go ahead and skip through everything. Be sure to not add a personal account. Once you are at this screen, you will go ahead and click on Add Account and then down to Work or School Account. It'll ask for permission to open up the camera. This is so you could scan a QR code. However, unless you have a second screen or signed in, which you probably don't for the students, we're going to want to click on the or enter code manually. After clicking on that, it'll bring up this screen asking you for a code and a URL. The next part, I will show you how to find this code and URL within the students or your own Office 365 accounts. Go ahead and navigate to office.com and get signed in. Once you are on your home screen, you're gonna to wanna to click on your icon on the top right of the screen, mine says KT, and then go down to view account. After it is loaded, go ahead and click on the left on security info. After you get in to your security info, you want to click at the top where it says add method. When this comes up, you're going to want to make sure it says authenticator app and then click add. Go ahead and follow the steps after you click add. We already have the app, so don't worry about that. And then keep clicking next until you see the QR code. For my own security reasons, I have blocked out the QR code associated with my account, but you will see yours or your students on the screen. Also, if you click on where it says can't scan image, there you will get the code and the URL that we are looking at before. From here, you can go ahead and copy and paste both the code and URL back into the Authenticator app to get signed in. After you have copy and pasted into the Authenticator app, you will get signed in as you can see I am here. Then you're able to go back to the whiteboard app. You'll still see this error, but go ahead and click OK. Then click on work or school account, and it should allow you to go ahead and get signed in the way you normally would. As you can see, after it gets signed in, you and your students will be good to go and be able to use the whiteboard app once again. Well, that is how you get signed in to the Microsoft Whiteboard app using the Microsoft Authenticator application. It is actually a good app to have because it does enable the two-form uh, authentication so that your account remains secure. As always, if you need any help with this, please come down to the swamp. Please shoot me a chat or an email and we can schedule some time to get through this. Hopefully this helps, and as always, it's great to be a Gator.